four volunteers, 370 square meters, and 180 days. It might sound like a nightmare for some, but for these four volunteers, it is an exciting experiment. Three men and a woman have been living in a sealed capsule to simulate life in space. It will test the regeneration of water, food, and air, as well as waste recycling, all to reduce the dependency on outside supplies. All the volunteers are now living in this big capsule. There are eight compartments where they can rest, cook, and even exercise. And also there are four greenhouse compartments which can cultivate vegetables, fruit, and crops. Over 25 kinds of plants are grown in the capsule, including wheat, potatoes, lettuce, tomatoes, and strawberries. The volunteers use these crops to prepare their daily meals. And if they're up for a treat, they can even create dessert using a 3D printer. And in the spare time, Tai Chi is their choice of exercise. So far, the experiment is going smoothly. Volunteers can talk to the staff via video calls. We get up every day at half past six in the morning. We all have different tasks. For example, I provide medical care for all crew members, as well as conduct medical experiments in the capsule. I feel good. We spend most of our time working, so you won't feel bored. A group of specialists keep an eye on their daily activities and monitor data relating to their physiological changes and emotional well-being. We're testing the third generation of a life support system. It enables astronauts to be self-sufficient in space if we're to leave on the moon or Mars someday. The volunteers will emerge from the sealed capsule on December the 14th, and no doubt their experience will give us an insight into how life can be possible in space. Hebei, CCTV, Shenzhen.